Right here guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Roddy and I ride a Harley Davidson Sport Glide. For those of you who do know me, it's great to have you back checking in. Um, now, in this video, uh, I want to talk about a common problem with, I don't think it's just the Sport Glide, I think it's actually quite a few Harley Davidsons, um, but I can't actually speak for any other Harley Davidson currently other than the Sport Glide. And uh, we've got an issue with the odometer condensation. So basically, uh, you're out having a ride, and you know you're a couple hundred k's in, generally speaking, or even sometimes less. And then uh, condensation develops, particularly over uh, this sort of area here, the digital, this digital section of the actual odometer here. Um, and I was out riding today, and as you can see here, you can see this perfectly clearly. Um, but I was out riding earlier on today, and I'll just show you some footage of that, um, where you just could not see uh, the odometer at all. Um, and, you know, you, you couldn't, I basically I couldn't see what gear I was in, I couldn't see, you know, I was actually getting quite low on fuel. Um, and as you can actually see there, so I'm down to my last bar of fuel and I had three bars left and um, I was actually a bit worried about how much fuel I had and I, was, I had to like really sort of look right down into the odometer, you know, to sort of see what fuel I had. It was really hard to see. So uh, it's quite frustrating. Um, it's not a major issue in the sense that I can still see, generally speaking, what speed I'm doing uh, with the analog, you know, uh, odometer thing. That's fine, the needle or whatever, but you know, it's just frustrating, you can't see what time it is, you can't see what gear you're in, you know, you can't see how much fuel you got left, that sort of stuff. So, it's well documented amongst Harley-Davidson that this issue does occur. Actually, on my way home from the ride today, um, I stopped off at the Tari service station and I met a lady on a heritage and I was talking to her for a couple minutes. And I mentioned the issue to her and she actually said that she has the issue quite a lot. And she was riding an eight-year-old heritage, so she had a a twin cam heritage, I think it was around about like a 2015, 2016 model heritage. It was a beautiful looking motorbike. Um, but yeah, she had the same issue as well. So um, obviously this issue has been going on for quite a while. And, um, you know, it's not news to anyone. I'm not suggesting that that is. But I do have what I believe might be a fix for it. Um, I'm not saying that you should do it. Um, but I'm certainly inviting you to watch me do it. Um, and then I've got a big ride tomorrow. We're riding with the AMC. Uh, they've got a bit of a ride on. I'm just going to ride to Gloucester with those guys. And then I'm going to ride to Newcastle for the day. I'm going to come home. So it's going to be a three, 400 kilometer day, not a massive day, but certainly it'll be enough to know whether or not uh, the odometer issue has been fixed for what I do tonight. All right, let's get into it. I'll show you what I'm going to do. All right, what we're doing is, and I won't lie to you, I'm actually a little bit nervous about this, but um, what we're gonna do, I'm removing the speedo console from the bike, and on the underside of the speedo console, or the odometer console underneath here, we're gonna drill uh, quite a small hole into the underside, and theoretically what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow air through that little pinhole into the into the odometer and it's going to prevent that condensation buildup from occurring um, it's a bit like i suppose when you've got condensation on the inside of your car and you turn the fan on and the and the air comes through and all that sort of condensation goes away so the theory is that um, it's the same principle and the theory is that it should actually fix the problem um, the guys that Port City Harley Davidson actually uh, offered to replace the odometer a couple of years ago for me. And um, I think I wasn't available, I wasn't free at the time, and I couldn't go, so I didn't sort of take advantage of that. But I did also sort of feel that it was probably a bit of a waste of time because, um, you know, we're not really fixing the problem. We're just replacing one issue, you know, one component that I believe really has a bit of a fault with it, with the same one. And then the issue is not going to go away. So until Harley Davidson can 
uh, come up with a different system, the same problem is going to keep occurring. So I didn't bother to replace it. I saw no point in it. Um, but yeah, so I think the issue here is with the condensation, the only way to fix it is to take this off, drill a hole underneath and um, put it back on. And then, like I said, tomorrow I'm going for a ride and um, I'll, I'll put up a video later on in the week after I post this video, I'll post another video um, to let you know how that's all going and if, whether or not it's worked. All right, let's get this off the bike. Okay, so we've just undone that, bolts off, and then we just basically, um, you unclip that there, which kind of just sits inside the front of the frame. It's got this little rubber piece which you pull out, then you disconnect it, and then voila, that is it. Right, let's take it over to the bench and have a look. All right, so this is the back of it. Um, and basically, we're gonna be drilling a hole I want to work out exactly where I'm going to drill the hole. It's going to be a very small little hole. And then basically we're going to reassemble it. And then, um, and then that's going to be it. All right, let's just get this out. All right, so this is it. The moment of truth. Um, so I've had a look at the face, the Sport Glide Facebook page and from what everybody that else that has done this, I'm not the first person to do this, of course. Um, they've put a dot right in the center of the actual uh, odometer there. A tiny little hole, probably something similar to this sort of size here, something like that. And um, I won't lie, I'm a bit nervous, but um, I'll just get it done and um, hopefully it works. All right, so I've just marked the spot where I'm going to drill it in. All right, here goes nothing, moment of truth. All right, we have a hole. Um, I just very gently used a combination actually of this one here and it was just a bit sort of, wasn't working out real well. Um, so I've got this even skinnier one. So real, real super skinny, the skinniest one I had. And, um, and as you can see, where are you? There we are. There's a hole. All right, let's put this bad boy back on the bike and um, let's hope that I haven't stuffed my bike up or stuffed the odometer up and hopefully it'll all be good. Alright guys, well that's it, um, I've done the mod, 
Uh, I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work out, um, but I'm hoping that it's okay. Um, so basically, as you know, I've, as you've seen, I've taken it off. I've drilled the hole in underneath. Let's have a look and see what happens to me. Now, this might throw out a, um, an error code. Sometimes it does that when you unplug things. So if it does uh, come up with an error code, um, I'll remove that. Um, but as you can see, so everything's still working. Almost 32,000 kilometers. Uh, we got 206 today, 206 today, and 103 left on the odometer, or oh, sorry, fuel range. And then because I've unplugged it, I just need to set the time. So that's fine. And then uh, the RPMs was obviously zero. And then back to the odometer again. So cool bananas. All right, so riding tomorrow, doing a three or 400 kilometer day roughly, so not a massive day. Um, and I will throw up another video uh, in a few days time and let you know exactly what's happened with this, if it's working. Uh, if the condensation comes back, um, I don't really know what to do. I've obviously blown my warranty on this, uh, even though the bike's almost three years old, so there's no warranty anyway, but um, that's why I thought it was worth doing. Um, okay, talk to you guys in the next couple of videos. We'll, oh, sorry, I'll talk to you guys in the next video about this. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, guys. Uh, Dump a comment below if you've done this to your bike. Let me know how it went. Um, you know, give me a bit of confidence to hopefully know that I've done the right thing. Like the video if it was any good to you. And um, I'll catch you again soon. Cheers.